welcome to the world of anesthesia. Today I am going to demonstrate the use of face mask. So this is face mask. This is used to administer anesthetic gases from an apparatus to the patient without introduction of any instrument to the patient. This face mask is made up of three parts. The main part is the body. This is known as the body of the mask and it can be transparent. This transparency helps in observation of the patient for its blood, secretion, vomitus or the, col the color of the lips and the condensation of the expired gases which helps as a monitor. The second part is the seal of this is known as a seal. The second part is the seal which fits on the patient's face. The third part is the connector. Now this is the connector which is made up of the thickened part with the internal diameter of 22 millimeters. A ring with the horns is placed around this connector and a mask strap can be attached to it. A ring with horns is placed around the connector and it helps for the attachment of a face, uh, mask strap. The face mask should form a tight seal on the patient's face, otherwise it will lead to the dilution of anesthetic gases during spontaneous ventilation and leakages during the during controlled ventilation and it will be difficult to ventilate the patient. To hold it, we place the index finger and thumb of our left hand on either side of the body and this is placed on the patient which exerts downward pressure to prevent the leaks. Extra pressure can be applied by the anesthesiologist's chain like this. All the other three fingers are placed on the inferior margin on the mandible or on the inferior margin of the mask. This, these three fingers should not exert any pressure on the soft tissue of the neck or the face of the patient otherwise there will be obstruction in the patency of the airway. So these three fingers should always be placed on the mandible of the patient. Care should also be taken to prevent the pressure on the eyes, otherwise there can be injury to the eyes. We can hold this mask by the two hands when the, it is diff, in the case of a difficult airway. The two thumbs are placed on either side of the mask like this and we just place this and which exert the downward pressure on the face of the patient. The index finger as are placed at the angle of the mandible. The, they extend the head and lift the mandible like this. But when we are giving the respiration or replacing the mask with the help of the two hands, we need a second person who will help in ventilating the patient. This will help in opening all but the most difficult uh, airways. The extra pressure can be exerted by the anesthesiologist's chain. Thank you.